In this work, we have fabricated a PBI2 based PB solar cell with a high optoelectronic performance. The cell is fabricated by deposited PBI2 via spin coating and subsequently converted to the CH3NH3 PBI3 perovskite by dipping in a solution of CH3NH3I. We found that dipping time is very important for achieving the optimal performance. We found that a long dipping time, 2% unconverted PBI2, is needed for achieving the desired output current density and voltage. Furthermore, an increased dipping time leads to an increase in the size of perovskite crystals at the perovskite hole transporting material interface. Therefore, the dipping time should be regulated to achieve the desired output. This article is titled Remnant PBI2, an unforeseen necessity in high-efficiency hybrid perovskite-based solar cells, and was authored by Duyan Chow, Constantino Stumpos, Christos Maliakas, Michael Katz, Omar Farha, Joseph Hupp, and Mercury Kanatsidis. We are article.tv. Article links can be found in the video description.